The San Diego Padres are finalizing a trade to acquire Rich Hill and G-Man Choi from the Pittsburgh Pirates in exchange for top prospect Jackson Wolf and outfielder Estor Suero and first baseman outfielder Alfonso Rivas. As always, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Tons of trade deadline content coming out for you. Paul De Young trade video coming up next. You don't want to miss it. All right, Rich Hill. Has he even played for the Padres yet? I mean, in his career, he's played for literally just about every team, it feels like. Rich Hill this season has a 4.76 ERA in 22 games, 119 innings pitch, 104 strikeouts, and a 1.479 whip. In his career, he has a 3.93 ERA and 1,378 innings, 1,398 strikeouts, and a 1.250 whip. Man is like 8,000 billion years old. He's 43 years old. He's just as old as dirt, and he is going to eat innings for you guys man has a rubber arm he goes out there and pitches every fifth day no matter what they're also getting first baseman g man Choi, who's hitting 250 this season with six home runs and a 731 ops and only 73 at bats he was injured for a lot of the season just came back recently and i mean g man choi has been around the league and it was a crucial part of that rays world series run the Padres are giving up their number 16th ranked prospect, Jackson Wolf. He's 24 years old, a left-handed pitcher. His scouting grade is 45 fastball, 55 slider, 55 curveball, 45 changeup, 50 control, and overall 45. With double A, uh, he has a 408 ERA in 18 starts, 88 in the third innings pitched, with 105 strikeouts to 22 walks, bringing his whip to 1.09. Jackson Wolf is a pitch to contact the lefties. Um, with sitting about 90 miles an hour, but I mean, 45 fastball grade, but his off speed stuff does it. He's six, seven, by the way, that is a huge prospect for the pirates. They're also getting Esther Suero. He's 17 years old, a, a rookie ball player this season in 35 games, hitting 216 with four home runs, 652 OPS last season as a 16 year old in 47 games hit 250 overall, just a, hopefully one of those high upsides. And they're also getting Alfonso Rivas, who's hitting 200 this season and 15 at bats, 245 career average. And Rivas is under control until 2028 first baseman outfielder. And this season in the minors hitting 332 in 58 games with nine home runs and a 1.043 OPS. But Rivas really hasn't done a whole lot of the big leagues, but just not a whole lot of playing time. So with Pittsburgh, he'll probably get some finally some playing time. This is a really, really good haul for the Pirates. I mean, you guys are trading Rich Hill, free agent, after the season. G-Man Choi, free agent, after the season. Both signed one-year deals with Pittsburgh. And you guys are getting the Padres' number 16th ranked prospect in what was a shell of a farm system. And a 17-year-old, I really, really like the upside of this trade for the Pirates. You weren't keeping it, and it shows that the Padres, they're going to go for it this year again. They've been playing better baseball as of lately, and that's going to impact how they view the deadline, obviously, and we'll see if they make some more moves. So overall, I'm going to give the Pirates an A- on this, and I'm going to give the Padres a C+. You probably could have gotten other players, but considering your position, if you don't get far, then these guys might not ultimately make or break your season or farm system. So let me know what you, what you guys think about this trade in comment section below. As always, hit that like button, subscribe, come back for another video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.